over the time, as they're negotiating, the area is getting smaller. Palestinian freedom is getting smaller. Mm -hmm. Settlements are growing. I think I used this example before. It's like if you and I are arguing over how to divide a pizza, and as we argue over who going, how, which way to split it, you keep eating slices, mm -hmm. right? At some point, there's nothing left to, to divide, and we can say, well, now let's, now there's two slices left. Well, let's split it, Mark. Why well, be like, mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Like it, it, it's two left, and and that's basically what is happening right now in Palestine. Mm -hmm. And so Palestinian people are saying, we've been waiting. We 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 negotiated with Oslo, and it was it was a farce. What, what Noda Adekat calls a sovereignty trap. We tried to march and protest. They had a, a, a the great march of return in Gaza up to the undefined border of of Israel, and from 500 meters away, Israeli snipers were shooting down people, mm -hmm. picking them off like birds. They marched. They said, "Well, tell your story through media." My colleague at Al Jazeera, Shireen Abu Akhla, they killed her with the press jacket on. Damn. With no justice. Mm. They acknowledge first they said Palestinian killed her. Then they said, okay, we did it. Then they said it was an accident. Is there any justice? No. So just like black folk here, your march they say it's wrong. Your protest you say it's wrong. Your boycott, the BDS movement, they they they've tried to criminalize, right? Which is a boycott, divestment, and sanction movement called by a civil society of Palestinian people saying, look, we got to do something different. So every possible strategy has been met with resistance, has been met with criminalization, has been met with violence. And so when I see these awful events that again are inexcusable, they don't come from nowhere.